I'm here with Adam Beck, Director of Marketing, and Jay Hopper, President and COO of Cadenas Part Solutions. And this is going to be a, uh, the first in a, in a series of interviews with manufacturing organizations that have um, really embraced the new methodology of uh, developing business online. So content marketing and um, you know, getting discovered in the search engines, using thought leadership content to educate rather than preach. So um, guys, do you want to kind of start things off by just introducing who you are and uh, what Cadenas does? Yep, my name is Adam Beck. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Cadenas Part Solutions. And I'm Jay Hopper, I'm COO. And uh, Cadenas is all about helping industrial manufacturers improve their digital customer experience so that they can market and sell products faster. And so the way that we do that is through digital 3D product catalogs, which make, uh, make it easy for industrial component manufacturers' customers come to their website, find the exact products they want, quickly select those, download those, put those into their design, which makes their job easier and, uh, and helps the manufacturer get the customer exactly what they want. Awesome. So as a whole, what you, not only the way you market yourselves, but what you do is kind of, um, you know, looking ahead into the way things are moving and, and sort of beyond the, the traditional maybe ways of, of uh, manufacturing. Would you say that's true? Yeah. I mean, yeah, our goal, our goal is to make it as easy as possible uh, for manufacturers to make the, their customer experience easy so they can get their products into their hands as quick as possible. So you see that today with, that's the way uh, the consumer market's going with, you know, things like Netflix and uh, Google and Uber, um, everything's on demand quick. So our, our fundamental belief is it's no different in the B2B space um, that manufacturers have to provide the same convenience and, and tools uh, to make it easy for their customers to buy from them. Absolutely. Makes perfect sense. Well, the reason I, I you know, kind of uh, you guys stood out to me and why I reached out to you about doing this interview is a member of your team um, contacted me about your upcoming industrial marketing summit uh, at Content Marketing World in September. And we're going to come back to that in just a few minutes. And, and I want to hear a little bit about that. But um, that's, that's how I discovered you. And as I looked into your site, I said, wow, here's an organization that is actually um, you know, moving beyond the traditional methodologies for developing business, boots on the ground, knocking on doors, trade shows, and, and not to say that that stuff doesn't have a place, but you guys have actually embraced the idea of, of um, creating thought leadership content that creates value for your audience uh, rather than just sort of preaching and talking about who, how great you are and how amazing your people are and how superior your product is and instead saying, hey, we, we're going to create value and earn trust and get discovered that way and, and open up the door to, to real business opportunities um, in that way. And, and, and that's not something we're seeing enough of in the manufacturing space. So I wanted to just, you know, hear your thoughts on what led you there, what, what made you say, you know, we're going to do something, we're going to do this differently and we're going to be a, a true resource in our industry and a publisher rather than just, you know, a, another company talking about ourselves. Right. Yeah, talk yeah. About so yeah. Um, as part of uh, the service we provide for a manufacturer, we put out an announcement uh, pushing the, uh, the information that they have this new tool out in the world. And that was, it started out initially as a written piece of content. It's evolved into more video, more hands-on lear learning and teaching for their, their audience. And that's now evolving into in-person events. We're just trying to spread the word about the success our manufacturers have had and um, show that, yeah, I'm kind of losing my, my I'm getting <laughs> in my head here. Well, no, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, I mean, if we're being honest with ourselves as marketers, you know, nobody, nobody really cares about you, right? Yeah. They only care about themselves, right? So right. Our, our belief is that um, the best way to, that we don't want to talk about ourselves. The best way to, to communicate what we want to communicate is through the, the eyes of our customers. So we embrace this idea of just telling our customers stories. Yeah. Um, I, you know, especially if you're, if you have a technical product, which a lot of manufacturers do, you have to have the features and the benefit. That's just a fundamental foundational thing that you have to have. So you have to start with the basics and just so we're selling a software platform, we have to have the specs out there. Um, you know, because you know, everybody knows the stat that the buyers are 70% to 80% through their buying journey before they ever contact a salesperson or whatever. So yep. companies, whether you're selling a component part, uh, you know, or industrial part, 
or you're selling software, you got to have that foundational content there. But everybody's got that, right? So that's yeah. level playing field. Yeah. Our philosophy is, okay, how are we going to differentiate? And nobody, want, nobody wants to work with somebody who just talks about themselves. Um, we, we reference this Brian Regan. Uh, I don't know if you know him. He's a comedian, but he has a bit – uh, called the dinner party. You can YouTube that, but it's talking about the me monster. You know, the guy at the dinner party who's just eating and being obnoxious, and all he talks about is himself, right? Nobody likes to be around that guy, right? So, of uh, <laughs> um, people want to know. People are engaged with people who are asking questions about them, or providing something of value, or telling uh, an interesting story. Um, and so we that's how we want to approach our, our marketing. Um, we don't want to talk about ourselves. We want to talk about our customers. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, what I always say is nobody cares about you until they, they believe um, that you understand their problem, that you've seen problems like that before, um, and that you've got, you know, you can demonstrate that you know how to and have solved that kind of problem. And, and then they'll start yeah. listening to the things that you do and what you sell. Um, but you got to get there first and earn, earn their trust and attention. There's just too much noise out there. Too much lip service, people talking about how great they are and how great their people are and their solutions, et cetera. So, yeah. And from a thought le from a thought leadership standpoint, um, on the on the digital catalog side of the business, which I which I talked about, I mean, the real value for manufacturers is you know making it easy for their customers. But at the end of the day, we're delivering also delivering sales leads um, to their marketing and sales teams at the manufacturer. So the people that are looking at our solutions and buying our software. Uh, platform are marketers and and salespeople they're selling industrial products so our, our our thought was hey we want to we're, we're serving marketers and trying to make their jobs easier and get them highly qualified sales leads what else can we do to help make their jobs easier how can we share what we know with them um, you know so we've put together ebooks and blog posts and videos and all kinds of things to just to try to help the marketers out there that are doing industrial marketing and to your point a lot of them are kind of behind the times um, and they may not be up on some of the you know inbound marketing or content marketing or marketing automation um, so we're just trying to help them as thought leaders and say hey here's some ways that you can go about your job to make your job better easier and get better results yeah absolutely. does that make sense yeah. Absolutely. It makes plenty of sense. Well, let me, so yeah, we, put, we put together, a, yeah, e I don't know if that you got that ebook. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, let's, let's jump over. I want to share my screen for a moment here and uh, let's see here. There. Okay. So um, yeah, I was wondering if you guys should, you know, here's just sort of a general page on, on your site, but um, I want to cover a, sort of a few different types of content that you guys have, have focused on creating. So you know, for example, th this one here looks like, you know, kind of a, an article or blog post on your site. Um, you know, it's, it's, this is this content, you know, from my observation is, is not focused on who you are and what you do, but instead, um, you know, providing helpful, resourceful information around topics and, and questions that your common customers have. Uh, and then you get down to the bottom and we've got a call to action here to um, to download an ebook, which sort of serves as a lead generator. So talk a little bit about, um, you know, this type of content on your site and, and sort of the role it plays for you. Yeah, so um, we keep a running list of questions that we hear, objections that we hear from manufacturers, stumbling points, things that slow projects down. And we take each of those as an opportunity to tell a story or to do research on a topic and learn why is this manufacturer having problems with this? Or why is their website launch holding up this next project and the project after that? Or why are they having problems with whatever? So this um, page that you're showing right here, how they can optimize their website. So we are a part of their website. We um, um, are a standalone. It's basically an iframe, but the, the website that's around it is important to us. And we want their website to be firing on all cylinders. We want it to be easy to navigate and we want their customers to get to the, the product details and the CAD model that they need quickly and easily. So this is in, in it's in everyone's interest to help um, specifically for this to have a great digital customer experience. And this, the basis of this blog post was actually a survey that we did. So we went out to so we have millions of engineers that are on our network and we actually conducted a survey and we asked them 
about their experience, um, which I think a lot of industrial marketers would want to know if you go back up to that chart. Um, so we, we went out and conducted the survey and we decided to share the results in this blog post. So we asked engineers, hey, when you're going out uh, to a manufacturer's site, what's important to you? Um, and they told us what was important to them. So, you know, they're saying things like, hey, it's got to be simple and easy to use. I need to be able to configure and choose product options. I'd love to be able to get a CAD model. I want to be able to search for a part number, blah, blah, blah. So we gathered that data, packaged it up. That I think that would be valuable to a marketer out there and put it, you know, and, and put it out as a blog post. So it's, it's not really promoting our product. It's not talking about our service. Uh, but it's just talking about things in, uh, that industrial marketers need to do if they want to improve their marketing and reach, do a better job for their audience. And then, of course, as you showed at the bottom, we do have the conversion element. We have a CTA down there. Um, it, you know, and these are bits of pieces of content which are all kind of packaged up in this ebook, uh, which Adam and his team did. It's, I don't know how many pages are in this thing. It's 60 plus pages. Yeah. It's got 60 ah. pages. It's got 12 customer stories. Um, and then again, it's not. It's not talking about our products or services. It's just helping uh, marketers, man, marketers at manufacturers become better marketers. Makes sense. And so, you know, I see, I see this and I, I love seeing a big, bold, visual call to action here because when, I, you know, in, in the rare cases where I see a manufacturing organization actually putting out something that's helpful, um, it provides a resource and, and you know, it's not, not all about themselves. It's, it's, I get excited to see that, but I get more excited when I actually see that, um, you know, the organization's using some methodology for, uh, to prompt the next step to happen. Um, and, and even the next step is focused on delivering value to the customer. Because, you know, as I think you, you know, Jay, you said it a few minutes ago, so a, a large percentage of, uh, of your website visitors or people out there are not, they're not, you know, uh, they're not looking for a sales conversation right now. They're, they are out there gathering information, trying to solve a problem. Um, similar to, you know, in your, in a person, your personal life, if you walk into a car dealership, the first thing you don't want to do is talk to the, to the salesman, right? You're, you're exploring and trying to figure out what it is you need. And, uh, and, and it's, it's largely the same experience, especially when what you sell is a complex solution with an often long and consultative sales and buying process. So I love seeing this. And, and so, you know, tell me a little bit about what, how this has, uh, having, you know, calls to action to download an ebook as opposed to just, Hey, let's talk. Uh, how, how has this impacted lead generation for you guys by you know, using this kind of methodology and, and driving to well, a, like, uh, I think that page drives to uh, where did I had it a second ago. Um, well, I can just click on the call to action. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, and the nice part about this content when it's customer stories, it's, it's a credibility piece. We yeah. can, we can preach till we're blue in the face about why we're the best or, you know, our features and benefits. It doesn't really matter because we don't, the, the customer has the credibility and it's their story that carries the weight. We'd rather put them in the forefront, make them look great. And, uh, we get carried along with it. Yeah. Now you're going to have to download that because you're skewing our conversion stats. <laughs> exactly right. I'll do that after we call. So tell me though, yeah. what, for those people who aren't familiar, uh, viewers of this video, um, you know th this this concept itself is something that you and I and uh, are familiar with. But um, you know the idea of trading, giving something away uh, in exchange for contact information, and, and what, you know what happens after someone fills out this form? How does it impact? You know, obviously on their end, they get a really valuable piece of content. How does this, you know, fit into your own business development process when this form gets filled out? Yeah, so uh, basically the process here is someone fills out this form. Uh, they get the link immediately to download it. They also get an immediate follow-up email. Um, and uh, they'll hear from, that email's from me you personally. Should, you should be getting a call here in about 90 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. So awesome. pick up the phone, <laughs> give you a ring. And really that call isn't about what can we sell you. That call is about, hey, did you have any questions about that ebook? Um, we're we're, we're an available for resource for you. Uh, if you, you you know, we would try to maybe ask some leading questions or some discovery questions, but it's certainly not pushy. It's like you said, sales conversation. I love that a term that's become uh, a little more popular in, in recent months. Um, but that's what it's all about. You want to get into that sales conversation, find out where they are in their process. Um, 
and you know try to qualify them and get them into that that uh, that funnel. Makes perfect sense, and and you're doing it in a way that's non salesy. Here's the email that I just received from Adam. So, um, so now now you've got an open dialogue with someone that's that's non pushy, and um, you know they're in your email database. You can email market to them going forward. They on on the flip side have received something of value rather than just a sales message. So. Uh, love, love the way you guys are doing it. I think it's uh, really smart. Thanks. So on, uh, I guess on that note, can you, can you speak to the, the impact it's had for you guys? Are you seeing a steady, you know, a steady stream of leads or is it, has, since you started doing that, have you at least seen an increase in, uh, in leads versus, you know, during a time where you may not have been, been using more, more progressive um, methodology for lead generation? Yeah. So actually Jay, Jay, is the basically the founder of the marketing department here at Cadenas. Um, before he started, it, it was basically all a sales organization. Engineering. Um, yeah, heavily, sales and engineering. Heavily technical focus. And that was, what, eight years ago? Mm -hmm. And that was really uh, when uh, inbound marketing was becoming to be a thing. Um, sure. uh, I joined up about nine months or a year later, and we really started that. Uh, that was the baseline of, how do we make this more about our customers? How do we tell more stories? And to be honest, from a content creation point, I can only write so many articles about features and benefits till you know I'm about to jump out the window. It's a, it's not it's a lot more interesting to have a conversation with the customer. What worked for you? What didn't? I I tend to learn a lot about the customer, and maybe there's more ways that we can help them, or there's some way that we could have done a better job, and we can remedy it right then and there. Um, but from content, you know this inbound uh, technique of publishing, uh, we were between probably two and 3,000 visits a month. Um, and we 5X that within about two years. 5X? And right now, million. yeah, yeah. Wow. And now we're probably 10X that, um, just shy of that. Um, and you know, on a steady, we're on a more steady uh, increase. It was a pretty steep um, um, climb just because of the volume of content we put out there, the various topics that we were talking about. If you're only talking about one thing, you're only talking about one thing, and that's all the people are going to find you by. If we're right. talking about more manufacturers and more, you know, more types of products that they create, more solutions that we provided for them, and more stories about all of that, it's just the more, you know, it starts to snowball, and you have much yeah. more out there. Yeah, and I think from a lead generation standpoint, if you just go back to sort of, you know, the contact form on the page, yeah. As your main source of leads, you know, I think we might have had it linked up to Salesforce at the time, but to to today, I mean, you're you're talking like numbers 700 to 900 percent increase in in lead, in in inbound leads. Wow. I mean, it's easy to go it's easy to go from zero to ten and yeah, you know, say it's a, a thousand percent. But you know, if you take some of the what was coming in through the contact page to where we are now, um, and we're still a pretty niche type of market, so it's not we don't have a floodgate of 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 leads coming in, sure. uh, but the ones we do are, are qualified. Yeah. Um, and, and it, we know we've reached somebody who we've reached the right person. Yeah. Well, that's um, huge. Cause you know, now, now you've started to build authority for your website. You have more visibility. If, if the leads are truly qualified, you know, it doesn't take a hundred sometimes or even 10 sometimes it takes a few really good ones and, and you've, you've paid for your marketing investment many times over or, or you know, at least have, have proof that we're going in the right direction here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I wrote a, a piece a uh, couple months back that I published on our own site uh, called uh, Rest in Peace, My Dear Contact Us button. And it sort of embraces this <laughs> idea that, you know, there's, there's a buyer's journey here. And, and just because somebody's on your website doesn't mean they, they want to have a conversation with you yet. But um, right. You know, there's a process of you getting someone there and pulling them into your funnel when they're, they're earlier in, in the process and researching, trying to learn. And then once they're, they're problem aware, you know, and they're trying to become solution aware, then, you know, it's then when you start, they start to maybe look for the potential partners, but we gotta, we gotta be patient and, uh, and be a resource along the way. So. Yeah, we have quite a few customers that it was years. They yeah. would come to our website and download yeah. an ebook and then they'd just hang out and they would keep yeah. getting our emails. And they would visit our social sites and watch our videos. And then lo and behold, uh, something changed or they're ready and yeah. they became a customer. So we just love to keep them in our community and sort of on the drip of our information, keep them in the loop. Yeah. Um, 
our, our outward facing content is really the same, same idea. We try to package it in a interesting palatable way uh, where they want to open our email that we send weekly or monthly or whatever that is. They want to look at our social posts um, and we just uh, build a community that way. That's awesome. I love it. Um, so, well, I thought maybe we could transition, uh, you know, as, as we kind of wrap up here, I want to, uh, I'm going to share my screen once more here and I want to have you guys talk a little bit about the industrial marketing summit that's coming up this September in uh, Cleveland, correct? At content marketing world. Yeah. So give me a sense for what, what, what this is all about. Yeah. And first of all, what, what led you to say, let's actually do a live event and, and not only that, but let's latch on to one of the best marketing uh, summits out there in, in content marketing world. And for those who aren't familiar, you know, content marketing world was started by Joe Polizzi um, of Content Marketing Institute. He's the guy who actually coined the term content marketing probably 15 plus years ago. He's a best-selling author of, of some incredible books. One of my personal favorites on my bookshelf behind me is Killing Marketing. Um, but anyway, I want to uh, let you guys talk a little bit about how you arrived here and, and what the event entails so that any, anybody listening can and check it out because I'd, I'd highly recommend if you attend um, putting this on your calendar. Yeah, definitely. So we so we've been around as a company for 25 years. We're actually headquartered in Augsburg, Germany, and uh, we've been around in the states for just about 20 of those years. And every every year internationally, they have a a customer event, a forum, a customer forum. They call it in Europe, and. Um, and we've never had an event like that here in the States. And we have hundreds of customers here in the US. So we said, hey, we need to do a customer, customer event. Um, but then, we, you know, so that's how we came up with the idea to do a live event. But then as we started to process that, um, we started thinking through our, our marketing philosophy about being others focused and customer focused and try to have value add and we say, we don't want to call this the Part Solutions Customer Event or Customer Summit. How can we continue this idea of providing more value and helping marketers become better marketers and, and industrial salespeople be, to be better salespeople? Um, so Adam had um, discovered Content Marketing World and had gone up there. And you can tell that story. And then, but that, that's kind of the genesis of making right. it not just about us, and our customers, but expanding it to be about just industrial sales and marketing in general. And how can we be, how can we add value to that? You know, we can have the, the off, off stage and, you know, the, the bar conversations with our customers and build those relationships. Um, we don't have to be up on stage talking about our stuff. We'd rather bring speakers in that uh, could add value. So you could tell the sort of the backstory of how you got connected with content marketing world. Yeah. So I was looking for, new events where we could go and, you know, show off that we have a tool for marketers. Um, and so I visited as an attendee, uh, content marketing world last year, just to look walk the floor, um, learn from some sessions and see, um, if it made sense for us to have a booth there. Um, it seemed like a really great event. I was really surprised. Uh, it's right in our backyard here in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and I started talking with the team there about different ways that we could, be a participant and how we could work together to create an event. And they said they really had nothing that was a carve out for industrial marketers. And then we started looking in the marketplace. There isn't really any event for industrial marketers. There's, you know, every B2C type marketing event out there. And it's really, uh, it was a, a greenfield for us. So we thought we can, we can make this the industrial marketing summit and really put the focus on our industrial marketing partners that we work with. And, um, we're just, we're just going to be there for, um, to support them and make it a great event for everyone. It's great. And so content, content marketing world's a three, three day event. And we're, we're basically tagging on our summit on the last day of the, of the event. Yep. So, um, you can you can come to the whole three day event and um, there's a you know reception at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame which gives you full access uh, to the Rock and Roll. There's some really great uh, keynote speakers um, and tons of content. Uh, there's hundreds of hours and of content, hundreds of speakers. And then in our event here, you can see Todd Henry, um, a best selling international author and speaker. Um, and, and friend of Part Solutions is going to do our keynote at our industrial marketing event. And then we have specific uh, 
uh, experts that are focused on industrial marketing, and some of our customers are also going to to speak as well. Um, uh, but they're not they're not just going to speak about our solutions. You know, they're going to speak about um, their best practices and their tips and their experiences, and they're going to share those experiences with the audience. So, um, yeah, it's a great opportunity to connect with other marketers, uh, especially in industrial, um, get tons of extra content through content marketing world. Um, and then, you know, there's some fun in there too with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And then we have a, a networking reception at a local Cleveland brewery the night before our summit. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a great event. Uh, and we do have a 50, we have a 50% off code if someone wants to get in touch with us. I don't know how they do that, but however, if there's a link or something somewhere, yeah, we have a 50% I'll, I'll add that into the notes. <laughs> Um, to, uh, right. provide that to anybody, anybody watching. Um, well, I, I love it. I think it's a, a fantastic idea. You guys have seen a need that, that I've seen as well out there for more of a, you know, a niche focus on marketing for industrials. And, uh, it looks like you guys are, are leading the way in filling it, which is awesome to see. So, um, you know, kudos to, uh, to you guys for doing that. Um, well, I, I want to wrap up here. So um, I want to let anybody watching know, you know, best way to get in touch with you guys. If, if what you have, you know, seems like something of interest, um, you know, is, is it your website? Is it, is it email, social channels? What's the best way to, um, to find you guys? Yeah, uh, our website is partsolutions.com. We're at partsolutions.com on all the social channels. So you can easily find us there. Um, you can email me directly if you have questions. It's adam.beck at partsolutions.com. It's as easy as it sounds to spell. So, And I'm j.hopper, J-A-Y dot H-O-P-P-E-R at partsolutions.com. I'd love to talk to anybody about uh, helping them in any way we can. Fantastic. Well, I really appreciate your time today, guys. I think this was a super valuable interview, and I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy watching it. Um, you guys, again, congrats on, on what you've been able to do here, and, and uh, thanks for being a leader in, in the space. Uh, thank thank you. you for having us, Joe. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Take care.